Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from danstube.tv and today I'm reviewing the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook and here it is right here. Now the reason it's called a Duet is because it can go from a laptop or a Chromebook to a tablet. So you've got the two-in-one, easy to snap back on, flip it down, you've got a kickstand and you're ready to go. Now what kind of person would be using a Chromebook? Most of the time it's someone who will just be using it for browsing, for basic kind of app functionality, typing up documents, typing up emails, and doing a few kind of productivity tasks on the go. Now this is definitely an on the go device and I really love just that snap on keyboard. It works really well, I've had no issues with it so far. And then when you kind of slap it down like that, it turns off the display. You've also got the power button on the side as well as the volume rocker. And when you disconnect the keyboard, you've got a really nice display here. You've also got this kickstand on the back here, which can basically come out as far as you want it to. So it's quite a unique kickstand. I love how far it can go down, almost laying down flat and then you can prop it up. And this works in all different modes, the tablet mode or with the keyboard. And then from there, you can literally just take the backing off. It's all magnetic, claps on, clips on, slaps on. Very beautiful. Love the design of the actual tablet itself. Love the, the curved display. I love how premium it actually feels. It's a really nice piece of hardware. And then from there, you would just slap it on. Magnetic, ready to go. Lift up the keyboard, slap that on, and that's it. Screen boots up and you're ready to go. I will have some links in the description below to check out the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook. Those links will be below. So check them out if you're interested in this really cool Chromebook. And let me know in the comments below what you think of this tablet as well. When it comes to the boot up time and the overall speed and responsiveness of this tablet, it's really impressive for the most part. It boots within a few seconds. Even the sleep-wake cycle is very quick. And when it comes to the booting, you boot straight into your Chrome login, really easy. So it's as simple as that for the setup process. You just have a Google Chrome login and you bounce straight in. It's ready to go. You've got a few apps straight away. But for me, I've got a little bit of a custom setup now with a few additional apps in my little app drawer here. And from here, I've actually got a few pinned down the bottom as well. All works really well, easy to get used to, and I had no issues with the overall functionality of it. It's a really fast device. Ready for this? Oh, I hope you heard that snap. When it comes to basic tasks like web browsing, typing up documents, using basic applications, and just kind of navigating through all the different menus, it works completely fine. Even the boot up time is ridiculously fast. The sleep wake cycle is really quick and easy to initiate with that button. And everything runs really smoothly with the Chrome OS. Unfortunately though, it does fall apart a little bit when it comes to gaming. There's definitely a bit of latency. It's definitely not the most responsive. And I guess that just comes down to the hardware inside. But, you know, for example, in the video that's overlaying now, you'll see me playing some PUBG and it operates fine for the most part, but it's not fantastic and you're probably not going to stand a chance against other people with faster devices. When it comes to a game like Fruit Ninja, which you can see here, it's fine for the most part. There's a tiny bit of delay but it just does kind of fall apart when too much is going on. You can also download some decent kind of editing programs as well from the Play Store. So it's kind of a combination of an Android device and a Chromebook. Cause you've got the Play Store, you can download all of the apps that you would on your tablet or your Android device. Really easy to do and a clean interface, but then it's embedded into the Chrome OS. So I love how it just functions. It does work really well. And for the most part, if you've got all of your other applications closed and you're just playing a game on it, you can get away with playing a bit of PUBG, a bit of Fruit Ninja, a bit of Call of Duty Mobile. You're not gonna be uh, the probably topping the table most of the time, but you can have fun, you know? That's the main thing, right? That's why we play games, I guess. And then when it comes to app support, all of the apps that I've downloaded have worked perfectly fine. They're definitely supported nicely on this device. Haven't had any sort of issues with compatibility or responsiveness when you're actually in the app. Everything is just optimized for that experience. So when it comes to the true Chromebook experience, 
the true on your lap experience where you've got the tablet there connected to the keyboard and you're using it as if it was a laptop or a Chromebook in this case and you've got the trackpad down the bottom you've got the keys here now what is this experience like for the most part it's really clean the trackpad is a little bit delayed and it doesn't feel like again the most responsive experience that I've had from other alternatives it does work nicely though and the scrolling functions and the kind of precise movements do work for the most part it's just a little bit of delay that I get which can be annoying at times now when it comes to the actual travel distance of the keys and what it feels like to type on this keyboard I got used to it pretty quickly it's a nice size keyboard yes it's obviously smaller than a conventional keyboard or a lot of laptop keyboards it is definitely crammed over on the right hand side with the enter key but for the most part I got used to all of it and it was actually quite a pleasant experience to type on this keyboard here and the fact that you can kind of use both together so you can use the touch screen on the tablet so you can literally just scroll and do what you normally would do with a tablet but then you have the keyboard as well it just kind of works nicely together so we'll snap it on here and basically it just immediately connects it's ready to go very responsive um, but yeah, you can see there's a tiny bit of delay with the actual mouse there. Like it works for the most part, but it's just enough to be a little bit of an annoyance at times. So that's nice. It's very responsive. I love the keyboard experience. That is top notch. The tablet experience, the actual touch screen is very responsive and works wonderfully well. Um, and the interface of the Chromebook or the Chrome OS, again, is very easy and nice to use. So I guess when it comes to who would actually need something like this, it's a nice kind of secondary uh, Chromebook or laptop to have in your house. You do have the USB-C here, so you can use a USB-C to HDMI to connect it to another monitor to then use this as the primary driver and then have a larger monitor. That works quite well. Um, it charges from USB-C, that's great, super fast, easy to use. And overall, it just connects straight when I boot in. No issues with any of the kind of overall experiences with the Chromebook. It's just easy to use and simple, which is great. That's what you would want. So for typing, it's easy, for browsing the internet, for messaging friends, for using most of the apps that you would on your tablet or phone anyway through the Play Store, that's fantastic. It's a really clean experience. It does fall down a little bit, like I said, with the gaming, and I'm sure it would fall down again if you had some quite heavy duty processing going on with like a video render or something that might kind of grab a lot of the resources. Also, if you're multitasking quite a lot, it does seem to slow the device down, which is expected. Um, but overall, it's just kind of a general use Chromebook and it does a fantastic job of doing that which is exactly what it is, it's a Chromebook. So for that, it is fantastic. When it comes to the specs of this Chromebook, it is a 10.1 inch display. So a really nice large display. I, like I said, really do like the tablet experience and the tablet uh, kind of size as well. The bezels are quite large around the sides, but overall it's just a really nice tablet experience. And then when it comes to the processor, it's got a two gigahertz processor four times a53 at two gigahertz uh, the integrated graphics uh, arm graphics um, it's got four gigabytes of memory and 128 gigabytes of storage like i said it's a 10.1 inch display that's full hd and it's got 400 nits so it's great in relatively bright experiences bright kind of situations that you would find yourself in <laughs> I can't find the camera specs. Okay, here it is. So front is two megapixels and rear is eight megapixels. So it's an okay camera system. You know, it's decent for just video calling and sending photos, I guess, basic videos. Uh, nothing too spectacular, but at least it has it on there and it has a front and rear facing camera. So when it comes to your basic everyday kind of functionality, the idea pad from Lenovo is fantastic. It is a great addition to your tech space. If you want something on the go that's a bit larger, it works as a tablet, as well as having that keyboard for more precise typing if you're gonna be replying to emails or typing up documents, um, or even just replying to comments or on your social networks, like whatever it is that you're using that for, it's really nice to have the keyboard and then to be able to detach it and still have 
the tablet itself. So the overall experience is great. It's not the most powerful thing in the world. So keep that in mind if you're buying it just to play games or just to edit crazy videos probably not the right move, but for just basic everyday use, it is honestly fantastic. So I will have a link in the description below to check the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook out. I'll have those links below to check it out. Um, but overall, I think it's a really great addition to your tech library or a really fantastic starting point if you wanna get a laptop but maybe don't have the money, um, you wanna get a Chromebook, this is a fantastic price point and it offers a lot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.